On this James the Bike Eye, we're taking a look at Giant's top end offering in the sport level of mountain bikes. That's right, we're checking out the Giant Talon 1. This is the 2021 version of their Talon mountain bike and the nicest spec that you can get. So in this video, we're gonna go over six things. We'll talk about what this bike's all about, the frame and suspension, the components, the drivetrain on this bike, its wheels, and finally we'll find out what it weighs. So go ahead and stick with me, so that way you can get informed about this giant Talon 1, and let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. The Talon falls into the sport mountain bike category, which is a category of mountain bikes that really is designed to be able to do more than just mountain biking. So a lot of people when checking out mountain bikes are really looking either to get into the sport or be able to have something versatile to be able to ride on the road, off-road, maybe to work, be durable, or really just a bike. And in this category, a lot of times they'll start on the more entry-level price point and move into the intermediate level where you start to get more and more mountain bike-like components. And that's exactly what we're checking out here. So this Giant Talon 1 is the top-end version of the Talon series from Giant which means it's gonna get things like a one by drivetrain, an air shock up front, and a nice aluminum frame that's gonna be able to make this more than just a bang around bike. So this is a great entry point into mountain biking. The frame on this Talon is gonna be shared between all the different models in the Talon series. Basically, it's gonna be an aluminum frame with manipulated tubing. It's got internal cable routing to keep a nice, sleek, and clean look. You'll have things like a straight steer, a threaded bottom bracket, a divorce seat stay from top tube, which allows for a little more comfort, and then a back end of the bike with generous tire clearance that also sports mounts to be able to run a rack. And going on from that, this bike is also gonna be available in two different wheel sizes. So the version we're checking out here is gonna be the 27 and a half inch version of the bike. And that's gonna be available in a size extra small to large. The frame you're checking out here is a size medium. And then this bike is also available in a 29er format from sizes small all the way up to extra large. And the frame you're checking out now is gonna be an extra large in the 29er. Along with the change of different wheel size, the frame geometry changes slightly as well. Now both bikes run the same seat tube angle of 74 degrees, but the front end of the bike is slightly different. The 27.5, the more playful variant, has a slacker 67 and a half degree head tube angle, and then the 29er version is going to have a bit more steep, more nimble 68 and a half degree head tube angle. The other place that changes, and no surprise when you increase the wheel size, is going to be your chainstay length it goes from 440 millimeters on a 27.5 version to 455 millimeters on a 29er. And that's going to make the 29er a bit more stable, and those geometry numbers make the 27.5 a bit more playful. And the reason Giant is going to be doing this frame in two different wheel sizes is to allow the rider to dial in the fit and the feel to how they like to ride. In most cases, the 27 and a half is gonna be a little more playful, maybe the better option for somebody who's wanting to get the bike off of the ground or be super nimble. And then the 29er variant of this bike is gonna be a great option for somebody that's looking for a little bit better rollover, maybe some better performance or speed out of the bike for a bit more general purpose. And then for suspension on these, it's gonna be running a fork that I find pretty neat. So this fork is Giant's own SXC32. And what makes this fork interesting is this is gonna run a 32 millimeter stanchion. It's gonna have the ability to adjust from different detents open to firm suspension damping. It uses an aluminum crown, stanchions, and lowers, which is really incredible for a bike under $1,000. And then a steel steer in the front end. But to make it super tunable for this bike, it features air adjustment. Now that's a feature that I think is really unique on this. And it's a place where you're gonna get a giant branded fork, which they tend to make pretty nice stuff, but get the ability to have air adjustment. And the reason you might want air on a bike like this is so that way you can dial it into your weight and riding style. And instead of running a factory tune, you can dial it in for you. Components on the bike are gonna be relatively basic running this 
alloy handlebar, although the handlebar is going to be super wide on this bike. And then you've got an alloy 31.8 stem. This stem happens to be 60 millimeters in length. It's going to have that quad bolt faceplate and should make for a nice setup with the giant grips. Personally, in my, uh, in my feeling, these grips do feel pretty nice. I wish they were lock-on, but otherwise they feel great. And the saddle on this bike is gonna be Giant's own saddle mounted up on a 30.9 rigid aluminum seat post. It does have a quick release adjustment, so you can open this to raise and lower the seat without any tools, although it does not feature routing for a dropper post. The drivetrain on this bike is a place where it really shines. We're seeing the 10-speed version of Shimano's Deor drivetrain. The Deor drivetrain is a workhorse level drivetrain. It is super reliable, it shifts really well, and the 10-speed format is going to make a nice setup. Now this derailleur is going to be clutched, and what that means is you've got a lever right here that's going to allow you to turn on the clutch, which keeps the chain from bouncing around, making contact with your chain stay while you're riding, and then to take the wheel off, you can actually turn the clutch off and you can see this is gonna move a lot easier. And that's more like what the old bikes were. So if you remember riding a bike and that chain was slapping, making a whole bunch of noise as you go, on the new bikes, because of the clutch, you can tighten that right up. The derailleur is then operating the chain over an 11 to 42 range on the back end. This is a Shimano cassette, 11 to 42, which is gonna give a pretty nice range to it. And then up front, we're greeted by a one by crank set. This crank set uses aluminum arms, a threaded bottom bracket, and then it has a 30 tooth chain ring on the 27.5 versions of the bike and a 32 tooth chain ring on the 29er versions. This range is going to be good for most of your sport mountain biking. It's got plenty of climbing capability. It might give up a little bit of the top end speed, but it's unlikely that that's where you're gonna be using this bike. And the ability to have just shifting in the rear instead of up front, as well as that clutch to keep things together, it's gonna to make this a much better bike out on the trail. The wheels of this bike are gonna be sporting some giant GX 03V rims. These rims are aluminum, double walled rims. They run 32 spokes, both in the front and the rear, and they're laced up to these six bolt disc giant sport tracker hubs. The hubs in the front are gonna be nine by 100, and out back, they'll be nine by 135. So standard spacing there. And connecting those wheels to the ground is a set of giant recon tires. These recons are a 27.5 by 2.4, or in the 29er version, they're 29 by 2.4 as well. I like the Recon a lot because this is gonna be a faster rolling tire that still has some good side knobs. Although the setup is a wire bead tire, so it does offer a spot where you might wanna upgrade. The actual weight of this giant Talon 1, 27.5 and a size medium is going to come in and weigh. 29.34 pounds. Well, thanks for watching this video on the 2021 Giant Talon 1. Go ahead and let me know what you think about this bike. While you're at it, be sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell. That way you can see more videos about bikes like this here in the future.